Hey there, Dave here. Today I'm solving a very real problem and showing you how I had to hack my Range Rover. It's not clickbait. I actually had to hack my Range Rover. I even checked the owner's manual. I thought for sure that there was just some setting that was not right. So the other day I had my dog Chimmy with me. We were going to lunch as we often do. And after lunch I had to run to the store. No big deal, right? I'll just leave the car running, lock her in. Shouldn't be a problem. The problem is, you cannot lock this car from the outside while the engine is running. You just can't do it. You push the lock button and it just beeps at you. Every other car I've ever had has let you push the button, lock the doors while the car's running. So I knew I was gonna just be in the store for a minute, so I left the car running and left it unlocked and let Jimmy stay in the car. Because she can't go in the grocery store. She can't go in the post office. The other life hack would just be getting a service dog vest for her to wear. I might have to do that next. So I left the car running, left the air conditioning on, left the car unlocked. I was in and out quick. Nobody stole the car. Nobody stole the dog. But I got to thinking, this has to just be a, a setting that is not right. There is no way to do it. So obviously the next step is getting on Google and trying to find a solution. This is the Range Rover Velar, and apparently it's not the only model that has this safety limitation. I saw forums going back five or ten years with people asking this exact same question and nobody really has a solution. The only solution I could find was turning the car off, getting out, locking the doors, and then using the app you start the car remotely. Doors will stay locked, the car will start, and the air conditioning will run. Meanwhile we're still waiting for it to start. It, it says it's trying. Maybe? Oh, I hear something. There we go. All right, so that's cool. There's an app, it does the job, but the app is very slow to respond. It thinks the car's still running until it gets an update. At this point, you're standing outside in the heat, your dog is inside, the doors are locked, and you're waiting for the app to update. That's just not good enough. But I found a low-tech solution that works. Before you actually lock your dog in the car, I would test this just to make sure it actually works on your model. So are you ready for the secret? Watch this. So you have your dog in the car, and you need to lock the door. Step one, roll the window down. Step two, manually lock the doors. Step three, roll the windows up, but pull your arm out fast. So when you come back, don't freak out when the key fobs unlock button doesn't work. The door handle button still does. Again, test this before you lock your dog in a hot car. You weren't afraid, were you? And that's it. A very simple hack to let you lock your car doors while the engine's running. What do you think? Is that, good? Is that a good solution? Did I give good advice? And I really can't believe I didn't think of this when I was sitting in the parking lot trying to lock the door and just getting beeps. But you can't possibly leave a dog in the car when it's hot outside without leaving the air conditioning on. Even if it's two minutes, you cannot do it. Hope you liked this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see new videos. I'm making new videos all the time here on YouTube. I just finished an entire month of doing daily video. Here's a couple videos for you to check out. I'm also posting to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So however you find content, follow me there. My name's Dave Hansen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.